Hello, how are you doing today? Today I'm going to inform you about the company Vans, also known as the Van Doren Rubber Company. In Anaheim, California, in 1966, Paul Van Doren and three partners opened up a small store. They would go on to sell the number 44 deck shoe called the Authentic. What was unique about the Authentic at the time was the waffle cone sole, which was not featured in any other shoe at the time. Their first day of business only consisted of 12 customers. The customers would come in the store, order what they wanted, and then would come back in the afternoon to pick them up. Each shoe was made on the spot. In 1975, the Authentic would be recreated by Stacy Peralta and Tony Alva. They would go on to name the shoe the Era, as in to signify a new era of skating that was on the verge in Southern California. This shoe differed from the number 44 deck shoe, or the Authentic, in its padding. They will also go on to have different colorways, and right here is the main stitching that a lot of customers come in looking for. That's how you can really tell the two apart. They also came in a variety of fabrics, such as tweed, suede, and wool, as well as the canvas. In 1979, the company would go on to make the number 44 slip-on shoe, which is called the classic slip-on. The difference between the slip-on and the era is simple. There's no laces. Instead, it has an elastic band to help the shoe get for when you're putting it on or taking it off. It's very comfortable and often worn without socks. In 1988, Vans would go on to go bankrupt, but after three years they were able to come out of their slump and their main investors sold the company. The company is now in the hands of Vanity Fair and Vans will go on in 2004 to have custom shoes. These shoes you were able to pick from the various styles. You could choose from your slip-on, the era, or the authentic. You were able to change the color laces, the color of the canvas, and then the era you were able to have one color in the front, one color in the back, and even a different color for the heel. You were able to choose from suede or your canvas. It became very popular because it was like making your shoe your own. You were even able to have different patterns and designs. Vans will also go on to be one of the biggest sports music collaborators. I don't know if you've heard of them, but the Vans Warp Tour is very popular with the skaters as well as musicians. At these events you are able to go see skaters skate as well as performers perform for a low price under thirty dollars. Thirty dollars, fifty bands. It doesn't really get any better than that. And if you're lucky you can actually see Paul Van Doren's son Steve Van Doren at the event at the Vans tent. I've actually met him once. No, shook his hand. He's a very nice guy. Vans just wanted the customers and the people they sponsored to feel comfortable. That's why they created these shoes. Slip-ons for the people that didn't want to tie their shoes. The era to help with skateboard performance. The authentic just to have something comfortable and nice to lay around in. And something affordable. The plan was simple and they executed. My challenge for you is to try a pair of vans. They have one at Norfolk and MacArthur Center, one at Lynn Haven Mall in Virginia Beach, one in Newport News at Patrick Henry, or you can check the one that I work at at Williamsburg in the Prime Outlets. 
every time you go there, you'll have the best experience of your life when it comes to customer service and learning more about the products. I hope this was very informational and I taught you something you didn't know. Well, come see me and let's give that challenge a go.